Hi, I'm Natish Cannon, and I look forward to being a part of the Graduate Student Program at Singularity University at 2013. And for me, I just have a passion with technology. Ever since I was a child, I love uh, just looking at technology. I, I started getting computers when I was probably about three years old, and that's probably the first time I started playing chess on the computer, and it's just so fascinating how machines work. I remember I had a funny experience when I was a kid. Is I would just put pennies inside a computer because I would always see you go to the arcade and play games, and that's kind of how I learned that computers don't work that way. So I've had a passion for kind of tinkering with things and learning from trial and error. Um, I used to mod a lot of RC cars, and I used to take apart a lot of electronics and make these remote control boats, put circuit boards together. And I just have a little passion for tinkering with little things. But eventually that evolved, and I started. By the time I got about 12 years old, I started, you know, just reading books by Michio Kaku and uh, Ray Kurzweil, and it's, I know it's funny for being a 12-year-old. And then I just started realizing in my life, wow, this technology is just improving exponentially, and I just kind of was thinking about how things would advance, because I used to watch a lot of sci-fi movies as a kid, and I just thought, how, where's technology going to go in the next, you know, 10 years? And I started making predictions. I used to do little blogs as a kid on the internet. I used to record on my computer. And then it's funny, I showed my friends and I said, you know, I'm going to be right in five years and let's see what happens. I'm going to be a futurist one day. Because that, that's my biggest dream in life, to see how far technology would take us. And then some, some of my predictions came true. I would tell people, you know, computing power doubles exponentially and we're going to have computers with flat screens and we're going to have these LED screens and things are going to get smaller and smaller and everybody's going to have a smartphone. I said, look at this, you have GPS. I think it was like 1998. I was saying, you know, everybody's going to have one of these little portable devices. But I never thought it would go to the point where we're seeing today, like one billion smartphones. Right? And then we're seeing almost 5 billion mobile devices globally that are connecting us. And so for me, my purpose as a person has been to get technology in the hands of as many people as possible. So to start that, I started my own blog uh, a couple years ago when I was in college, techdenwood.com. And I just want to know the insights of people in the future of where this technology is going to really, really go. And, and my blog, techdenwood.com, uh, just covers a lot of these exponential trends. And then I started getting really passionate about, you know, getting out there interviewing the top scientists and thinkers in the field. So I made friends with uh, the co-founder of Apple, Steve Wozniak, and I was able to interview him. I was able to talk to a lot of visionaries. I met Ray Kurzweil at CES a couple of years ago. And then this year I got invited to Gig OM, and I was able to talk to some of these people in the startup industry. And so for me, that was so inspiring that these people have come up from, you know, from basically nowhere and just with the power of little tools that we have, these thousand dollar computers, these hundred dollar smartphones are able to develop applications and that can scale and you can potentially impact a billion people and create a lot of opportunities. So I had my own idea of creating this uh, company which uh, I'm founding this year called Circle Plus Payments and I've got, I put together a team and we're in their first lot, uh, round of financing and we're going to try to raise a big round this year and we are going to scale our application and I'm trying to come to Singularity University, hopefully meet some of the brightest minds and help me scale my ideas and maybe get more ideas into how to build a better company, maybe add future products and new features so that everybody can have these micropayments. And that's really my purpose um, as a person. And so finally, if I figure at Singularity University, if I can meet the right people and, you know, hopefully start a good company, I'm hoping my ultimate purpose and my ultimate dream in life, as crazy as it sounds, ever since I was a kid, was to live forever and upload myself into a computer. And to do this, I really think Singularity University is the right place to be with, because you really meet people with these outlandish ideas. And I think my highest uh, intellect that I've reserved in my brain is just really to hopefully one day, you know, make some sort of connection with these people and, you know, raise some money and hopefully get a company where we can do research and ultimately build human eye robots and everybody can live out of surrogates and, you know, we'll be merged with these computers and that's really my highest purpose in life. That's what I really aspire to when I wake up in the morning. I think about how can I uh, scale my ideas as a bridge and, you know, succeed in one thing, raise some capital, and maybe leverage that to start the next company and then meet the right people at the right time, hopefully to pursue the next idea. And that's really the ultimate reason why I figured this is the right time to come to Singularity University. And I really appreciate the opportunity to be a part of this.